Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm bringing forth to you a very short, concise, and quick video on how you can earn back hundreds and even a thousand dollars worth of money back from airlines. There's a secret that airlines do not want you to know because they'll give up so much money if you did know. Um, I'm gonna tell you a, a true story and I don't want you to make the same mistake that I did. So recently, my fiance and I, we were at the airport and we were waiting at the gate um, ready to board our flight. And then that's when the flight attendants, they announced um, that they're giving away free travel vouchers for those who are willing to give up their seat. So then my fiance and I, his name's Nathan, by the way, um, we were like, you know what? We're, not, we're in no rush to get to our destination anyway, so let's just give up our seats. So we go to the counter and we were offered two vouchers, one for each of us, which was awesome, but not that awesome. And we were given free meal vouchers and also booked on the next flight to our destination. So both Nathan and I were like, wow, this is, this is awesome. I mean, this is a great way to start our trip. But ever since then, I kept thinking, you know, did we get the best deal? So I took the liberty of going onto the Department of Transportation's website and I did some reading and I quickly found out that no, we actually did not get the best deal. We were actually kind of ripped off. <laughs> And so I don't want the same thing to happen to you. So let me give you some background information. So according to the Department of Transportation, airlines are legally entitled to overbook their flights. And what this means is that, you know, airlines companies, they can sell more tickets than there are seats available on the flight. So sometimes, actually more often than not, Everybody checks in and they're ready to get on this flight. So in that situation, the airlines company have to first ask for volunteers to give up their seats. And then if there are no volunteers, or if there's not enough volunteers, they are legally entitled to bump you off your flight. And in both situations, you have the right to be compensated. Now, how much is the question? If you volunteer your seat, I mean, the amount you can receive is endless. And I'm going to read to you word for word what's written on the Department of Transportation website. It says right here, airlines may offer passengers incentives such as money or vouchers to volunteer. Bold money or vouchers to volunteer. There is no limit to the amount of money or vouchers that the airlines may offer. What? And passengers are free to negotiate with the airline. You guys, oh my God. So basically what Nathan and I did is we took the vouchers instead of negotiating money. I mean, you guys, the Department of Transportation themselves who sets these regulations down that airlines have to follow themselves say that there's no limit to how much money you can negotiate. And I'm talking cash. You know, you don't have to get a voucher for another airline. You can get ready cash on the spot for giving up your flight. And they're essentially paying for your time and your convenience. So take advantage of that remember this and next time this happens to you take advantage of it um, and that is if you are in no rush to get to your destination don't make the same mistake that me and Nathan did and also another thing is that don't stop at the cash I mean ask about meal vouchers ask about getting bumped up to first class on your next on the next flight you know, ask about transportations between the hotel and the airport. I mean, it's endless. Ask about everything, you guys. Like, don't stop. <laughs>
And so that was, so you can get all this, you can negotiate how much you want to get, you can do all this if you give up your seat voluntarily. Now let's say in the alternative, you don't give up your seat, but still the airline needs people to like give up their seat because there's not enough seats. So in such an event, this is called bumping. And airlines company, they, they are legally entitled to do this according to the Department of Transportation. And they typically bump people who, you know, checked in later, um, who are boarding like towards the end, you know, of the, of the boarding process. There's like a list of criteria on how they choose people to bump. Um, but in the event you get bumped, you have you know, you're entitled to compensation as well. And such compensation includes, is dependent on how much you have been delayed. So for example, if you have been delayed less than an hour of reaching your destination, then you won't get any compensation, unfortunately. But if you were delayed to your arrival you know, to your destination one to two hours later, then you're entitled to compensation of up to $775. Gets even better. If you're delayed over two hours to your final destination, then your compensation, you can get up to $1,550. You guys, let that sink in. $1,550 just for your time. Can you believe that? So I want you guys to understand the key difference though. If you give up your C voluntarily, then you can ask for a limitless amount of money. Obviously you have to negotiate and the airlines has to agree with it and meal vouchers, bumped up to first class, transportation fees, whatever it is, ready cash if you don't want to get the vouchers. That's all if you volunteer to give up your seat. However, if you don't volunteer to give up your seat, but you're still bumped by the airlines to take the next flight, then your options are dependent on how many hours you're delayed to your final destination. If it's just under an hour, you don't get anything, unfortunately. But if it's between one to two hours, you can get up to $775. And if it's between, you know, two hours or more, then you can get up to $1,550. Oh my God, you guys, hit the like button right now. Hit the like button right now because this is amazing. Now you guys know what to negotiate for. And don't be shy. This is like, you earn this. You're giving up your time. You're giving up your convenience. You earn it. So don't be shy. Go up there, go to the counter and tell them, you know, make, make, yourself, make them aware that you know the law. Okay, that's it for today, you guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment down below what else you guys want me to make videos on. I'm happy to do so. Don't forget about the giveaway. Oh my gosh. All you have to do is hit subscribe, hit the like button, and follow me on Instagram to be entered into the giveaway for you to win the free $100 Apple gift card. You guys, that's a big prize. I mean, I want you to have it, so I'm going to wait right now for you to hit the subscribe button. Did you do it? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good job. I'm going to assume you did it, but I hope this video helped. Don't forget next time, share this with your family, with your friends, so that you can save them tons of money. They will thank you. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you next week.